shamanettes and welcome to the beauty shaman so i have no makeup on except for a little bit of something on my lips because my lips are really dry because when i concentrate i lick my lips and it just gets very very dry and icky so i'm always putting stuff on my lips in any case this is my brand new studio um in ecuador i moved to ecuador for those of you who don't know my kids are grown and I was like, great, I'm out. <laughs> and I moved to Ecuador. I've only been here about two weeks. Uh, please see my blog. I've been writing. Uh, every week I'm going to write and post about my experiences here, um, what it's like, maybe questions you might have around um, an international move. Some of you might be considering that. If you are, great. Um, it's it's actually wonderful. I absolutely love it here. It's been terrific, but it's only been two weeks. So what can you say? In any case, today we are going to talk about bang for buck nighttime skincare. So I'm going to go through what I'm doing right now, which changes all the time because I'm always trying new things. But I'm going to go through what I'm using. And then with each section, in other words, I do my cleanser, moisturizer, retinol, vitamin C, that sort of thing. I'm going to give you three different um, suggestions. So one would be on the lower end price wise, mid range and the higher end. And there are reasons for all three of those. And I'll share that with you. So I'm going to give you a lot of information here, um, but I wanted to give you some options. Um, and also, you know, why I end up using what I use. So it's going to be great. Um, also, I want to just preface everything with saying that I don't use any injectables. In other words, I don't use Botox or fillers at all or um, plastic surgery. So what you see is what you get. Um, one of the reasons I make that choice is because I want you to know that what I'm using is actually working and to what degree it works. Um, that way there's no, absolutely no hidden agenda or secrets or anything. Um, this is me, I'm 56 years old, this is how I look. Okay, great. Before we get started, please visit my website at thebeautyshamanstore.com where some of these products are, um, are, some of them are not. And while you're there on my website, please sign up for my newsletter to get insider deals, um, discounts, special things. Um, I do a weekly newsletter. It's great. And please hit the subscribe button here on YouTube so I can continue to make great content for you. All right, let's get going. Okay, so we're going to start with cleanser because that's what you start with in the evening to clean off pollutants, um, any buildup throughout the day, including makeup, that sort of thing. We need to clean our skin. Very, very important. All right, so if you have oily skin, so I am going to talk a little bit about skin types in this. So if you have oily skin, Cetaphil Foaming Cleanser is great. Um, it does not contain phthalates. The Cetaphil Milky Cleanser does, so try to avoid that. I try to keep things as non-toxic and clean as possible in my recommendation. So Cetaphil Foaming Cleanser is actually really good if you have um, oily skin, normal to oily skin. It's actually very gentle, very, very nice. If you have more normal skin, normal to dry skin, um, this is what I use. That's my kind of barometer, although I just moved here and it's much more humid here than it is um, in Colorado where I used to live. So I use Image MD Nourishing Facial Cleanser. Um, this is actually wonderful, has a little bit of peppermint in it. It has glycolic acid and AHAs in it, which those acids are wonderful for your skin. You definitely want to get some of those in your skincare routine. Wonderful, takes off makeup. I don't have to do a separate step to take off my makeup, which I love. So this is great. Love it. Use it. I use it morning and night. And then um, for a kind of a, a more expensive brand, this retails, I don't know what this, I think it's $36. I carry it. I should know this. If you want something that's really hydrating, if you have dry skin, I would say use the Truth Treatments Honey Cleanser. Um, it contains clover honey and fatty acids, so it's very nourishing to your skin. I think it retails around $45. And last but not least, if you have very dry skin, so in other words, you just lather and lather and it just, nothing works. I would say use a the Shiseido Oily Cleanser. It's a great product if you have very dry skin. My roommate used to have very dry skin, started using it, loves it, um, but it's oil. It's an oily substance, which feels a little weird putting it on your skin, but it's a great idea if you have very dry skin. Also, if you use any skin cleanser devices like this, this is by Foreo. I really like this. It, it vibrates and this little edges on the back are really nice. Um, I put it on my jaw and just like leave it there and it just like relaxes all my facial muscles. That's a hard word, facial muscle, but it's lovely. So these type of things are great. If you have something like that, that definitely helps to get deeper into your pores and clean your skin. 
Okay, moisturizer. Now you don't, I don't necessarily use these in this order. Um, usually I use moisturizer last, but in all honesty, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I would say we're gonna just move into moisturizer here because that's what's next on my countertop. Um, but in any case, if you have more oily skin, I would say try CeraVe oily skin moisturizer. I'll put links for everything down below. Uh, it's a great moisturizer for oily skin. And some of you have oily skin and have actually emailed me and say, talk about oily skin. So that's why I'm bringing that up. It's not expensive. It's like $12. It's a very simple um, moisturizer that I think works great. If you have more normal skin, normal to dry skin, um, I really love the Image MD Restoring um, facial moisturizer. This is great. I actually for sure use this in the morning because it has SPF 50, um, but you can use it as night as well. It doesn't hurt you to have the SPF at night. So I definitely, I like this one a lot. It's a very, very creamy, lovely moisturizer that really gets in and hydrates. I put it on and I just, my skin feels incredible. Um, I do love it, like I say, in the morning, but you can also use it at nighttime. If you have very dry skin, I would say the bang for buck, best very dry skin moisturizer I've ever found is Truth Treatment's Omega-6 Healing Cream. This has lipophilic vitamin C and omega-6 oils in it. So it's incredibly hydrating. I mean, this for me is a little bit much because I'm more normal to dry. But if you're very dry, bang for buck, this is like the most phenomenal moisturizer. And I would use it as a night cream because it is so heavy. I think if you use it during the day, it almost, it's, I think it's almost too much, but you do what works for you. I know people that use this morning and night and absolutely love it. Um, with the vitamin C and the fatty acids, it's the hydrating, its ability to hydrate is amazing. It's also a higher price point. It's 120 um, having said that, I think if you have very dry skin and you just can't find anything, this absolutely works. It's so great. Okay, I do want to hit on toner just quickly. Um, some of you love toners and faithfully use them. Um, some of you don't. I personally do not use a toner. And the reason for that is most toners do contain a little bit of alcohol in them, which can be very drying to the skin, even if it's only a small amount. Um, I would say if you have dry skin to really avoid the toner, if you have more oily skin, it can be helpful um, to sort of curb the oil a little bit, help to keep your skin really clean. Um, I'm not going to make any recommendations for that because personally, I have very little experience with toner. Um, even though I'm a licensed esthetician, it's just not something that I particularly use on mature skin. All right, so the next thing I use about two to three times a week, sometimes more, is a retinol. So the two most important skincare items that need to be in your skincare. If you're interested in anti-aging, I put it in brackets because I hate that word. It's like, we're gonna age, we're gonna get old, we're gonna die. Like there's no anti-anything. Um, however, I do understand the premise of that, right? Which I'm sure you do, which is you wanna look our very best and to minimize um, the aging process. So retinol and vitamin C, those are the two. And I actually did a video on those two products, I'm gonna put it in the corner here, on why those two are so important and what they do. So having said that, um, I use retinol probably every other day, just because my skin is so used to it, I don't have a problem with it. Um, for many of you, that would be way too much uh, because retinol is vitamin A, and what it does is it encourages cell turnover by exfoliating the top layer of your skin. That's the nuts and bolts of how that works. So you put the retinol on your face, and your skin generally will have a reaction to it. In other words, you will turn red, um, you'll have some sloughing of dead skin, especially if you've never used it and you start using it. Sometimes it can be a little like, wow, that really may, gave me a reaction. Um, so I would say be really mindful of that depending on the percentage that you're using. So the greater the percentage, the more effect you're going to have. So most retinols are anywhere between 0.5% and 1%. That's pretty common, right in the middle there. Um, I would say if you have very sensitive skin, start with the lowest quantity. Some brands put their quantities um, on the packaging, some don't, so that's a little challenging. You can look at the ingredient deck and see where it turns up on the deck. That'll give you a big heads up as to how much is in there. The further down the deck it is, the less that's in there. The higher on the deck, 
the more that's in there, okay? So personally speaking, I like to use a really strong one just because, you know, I do peels, I do microdermabrasion, I do lots of stuff to my skin. My skin's very used to all the torture I give it. But what all that does is it encourages cell turnover and minimizes lines and wrinkles. So that's why I'm such a fan. Okay, so let's talk about three different types. So um, at the lower end of the retinol, I would say CeraVe retinol is very inexpensive. If you're brand new to retinol, um, it's a great one to start out with. There's another brand that's very inexpensive, The Ordinary. It's called The Ordinary, and it makes a retinol with HAs in it, which is also um, good. It's very inexpensive. Um, I think the thing you always have to be careful of is with these cheaper brands, sometimes they can be more irritating because they lack the emolliency that the more expensive brands toss in there, including vitamin Cs and um, any sort of emolliency to help your skin so it doesn't break, get such a big rash from it. So, um, so I would say try that one as a starter. Um, if you've had some retinol and you want something stronger, uh, my favorite, hands down, Restoring Youth Repair Cream by Image MD. I love this. Um, use it every single night. It's retinol. It also contains um, vitamin C in there and it is very emollient. So when you put it on, I have never had a reaction. No one I know has had a reaction, but you might if you have sensitive skin. But it does work, especially if you use it. This you can use every single night as a night lotion, cream um, with the retinol. If you notice a reaction, you back off and you don't use it as much. One of the side notes with retinol is be sure you're using sunblock during the day with your retinol because um, your skin does become more sensitive. Now, I spend a lot of time outside. I did in Colorado. I certainly do here. It's absolutely beautiful here. I live right near a river, so I'm out running and riding my bike at the river. It's great. So I have to really be careful to use my sunblock. All right, so the last retinol I'm going to talk about is very strong. This is the Truth Treatments. This is the 5%. This is the one that I use. Um, however, you can use the 1%. These are definitely more expensive. These are in the hundreds. I believe this one is 180. The 1% is one. I think it's 29 or 30. Don't quote me on this. I didn't put the prices in front of me. Uh, yeah, yeah, good with numbers. These are so, so important if you do want the anti-aging benefits. I can use this retinol, like I said, two or three times a week with no reaction. You can also spot use retinol. I've done whole videos on retinol. I'll put one in the corner here. But for example, I have an age spot right here. I call it my lovely age spot. And I can use it every night and just tap a little retinol on that. And it does help to break it down and diminish it more. Okay, so there's one other thing I do um, about two to three times a week, and that is the energy electro um, microcurrent device. So it looks like this. This is by Truth Treatments. Again, um, you can tell I love Truth Treatments, but if you push on it, you can pick your setting, right? And then it, it vibrates and it gives an electrical current. And I use it with, let me turn it off. I use it with, now this is very love, so please forgive, it's all beat up here, but this is Electroderm. So this is the conduit for the um, electronic energy that comes through this device. So there are many such devices like this. New Skin also makes one. You can go to a dermatologist and have this, not dermatologist, uh, an esthetician and have this done. They have different machines with different speeds and different, you know, levels of intensity. That's sort of not speeds, but levels of intensity. In any case, this is a home one, which I love, and it works great. This one is very powerful. You have to be really careful. Um, the only complaint I've ever had from this is that it's so strong. So you, you have different settings, though. There's two different. There's one and two, and one has five different settings, and two has five different settings. So you can definitely play with the intensity of it, which I really appreciate. And there's directions when you get it, but you basically use it, I use it, you know, I go along my jawline. You only use it for about maybe five minutes at a time. It's very quick. And I use it a lot through here because this is where all of mine are. Um, you can use it fairly close to your eye without any problem. But through continued use, devices like this really help to tighten the muscles underneath your skin. And it helps with the old anti-aging thing to strengthen the muscles. Now, I have not been using it because I've been very distracted with all of my move and everything. So uh, next time you see me, this will probably look a little better because I'm going to get more disciplined about it. But in any case, this is a fabulous thing to use if you do want to add to your nighttime regime. Okay, so the last thing we're going to talk about, well, actually, no, there's two more, is vitamin C. So vitamin C is crucial for nourishing your skin. It's like taking vitamin C internally, which you should be doing to the tune of around three to 4,000 milligrams um, every day. I break that into two, so I take two in the morning and two at night. It's about 4,000. Um, you can't take too much vitamin C. It 
pees out of your body, um, but it is absolutely vital for your health because your body does not manufacture vitamin C. Eating oranges will never give you enough. So I really encourage you to take a lot of vitamin C. It really helps your skin and your general health. Um, I would say vitamin C topically in skincare is kind of the big buzzword because it really works. Um, it makes a huge difference in the, the nourishment that your skin, uh, how nourished your skin looks. Really helps with it being healthy and shiny and uh, fabulous. So percentages matter here with vitamin C. So most vitamin C serums are around 15 to 20%. That's the amount of vitamin C. Normally it's l -ascorbic acid. There's lots of different types. I've done a whole video on the different types of vitamin C in vitamin C serums, and I'll put that in the corner here. Um, having said that, if you get an l -ascorbic acid, that's fine. Um, you just gotta be sure that it's hydrating, because again, vitamin C can be sort of irritating to the skin. Um, for some of you, definitely not for all of you. So I would say, you know, some brands do put the percentages in the product at, on the product, many do not. So you do, again, same thing as retinol, have to look at the ingredient deck to see where it shows up on the deck. Okay, if it shows up close to the top, that's great. If it's further down, there's much less in the product and it renders it less effective in most cases, I would say. Okay, so which type? So the Ordinary, back to the Ordinary. I like this brand for inexpensive products. Um, it does use l -ascorbic acid and uh, it's not expensive. So I would say you could start with that with your vitamin C. Um, the percentage is probably pretty low in there, uh, or, or I don't know, I think it comes pretty close to the top. So it might be quite a bit. The biggest complaint I've heard of it is it can be irritating. Other people love it, so up to you. All right, the second one I would talk about is um, Restoring Youth Serum. This is a lovely um, vitamin C serum. This is around $84. Um, so you would use this um, only in the, you could use this in the morning, actually. I would use this in the morning. If you want to go to the Image MD, they come in a, in a package, actually. There's a, sold for a discount, all of these products in Image MD. It's called the Image MD System. So be sure to check that out on my site. But anyway, I would do this at night and this in the morning. I'm bringing this up because this has a lot of vitamin C. So you can use vitamin C morning and night, morning or night. It really just depends. I like to use vitamin C at night. That's just how I roll. Um, so having said that, if you want to use it in the morning, this is a great one in the morning. Um, so fabulous levels of vitamin C. It's very hydrating. Um, I, I love this. I would say this is about 20-25% um, hexidecyl ascorbate. That's a type of vitamin C that's actually powerful. I like it better than l -ascorbic acid personally. I don't find it as irritating on the skin. So this is a great brand if you just want something that's more middle of the road price wise but really gives you what you're looking for with vitamin C and you can use it every single day. Love it. Okay, so the last type of vitamin C I would say is my very favorite. I talk about this all the time if you watch my channel, is Transdermal C Serum. This is 80% um, hexidecyl ascorbate vitamin C. Wonderful, wonderful type of vitamin C, like, like the image vitamin C. Um, absolutely works. You need two drops, and I mix it with a little biomimetic mist, which helps the efficacy. So the efficacy is just to get it deeper underneath the dermis layer of your skin. This is what separates the men from the boys, so to speak, when it comes to skincare, is does it get beneath the dermis layer? Many skincare brands are very watered down. They sit on the surface of your skin. They don't actually do very much. Their ingredients are filled with fillers. It, that, that's what separates it, is does it get beneath the dermis layer? Are the ingredients good? And you can tell that by reading the ingredient deck and using things like this. Other lines have this too. Um, this mist is wonderful, biomimetic mist. I do two squirts of this, two drops of this, and I love it. In the morning, I use my mist with my hyaluronic acid to help to plump up my skin, which is fabulous. It's like instantaneous, <laughs> like, woo, look at that. Okay, the last thing I use, um, I use it every single day, um, is the Max. This is neck cream. Now, I have nothing else to recommend when it comes to neck cream besides this one because the other ones I've tried, I didn't notice any change. So if you know one and you want to tell me about, please write it down below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, but this I love. This ne It's called Neck Lift. This this is really awesome. I actually um, gave some to my mom to try and I gave some to a couple friends like when I first started carrying it. Like, what do you think? All of them hands down came back and said it really helped to smooth out their skin on their neck. So I use this um, 
only at night, although you could use it morning and night, just on your neck. So I'm actually going to put a little bit on. I meant to put some of the others on, but I was too busy chatting. And I just put it on my neck. It's lovely because I'm starting to get that, you know, that crinkliness right here that we all get. Like it's just a part of life. And I think by using things like this, it can really help. The other thing that can really help is take your skincare, especially your vitamin C and your retinol, and put them down your neck. And that will also help to tighten this area. Doing facial exercises works as well. I've not done a video on that, but I know many people have. Great, really does help. So I would say using something on your neck, I know this works. I've heard great results with this. Um, other people have too, um, but you know, also just using your regular skincare, it's fine. Put it all down there. It'll help to firm up this part of your face. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of Image MD Moisturizer with SPF in it, because it's actually the middle of the day here, and I need the SPF. It's got a little zinc in it, as you can see, but that white look goes down after it's on your skin for a couple minutes. But this is lovely, very hydrating, wonderful. I always put some on my hands, it's great. Anyway, I hope you've gotten a lot out of this. Please write down below any questions you might have about skincare. I am gonna start doing some YouTube live, so stay tuned for that. If you sign up to my newsletter, you will hear about when I'm gonna do that. And you can just directly ask me questions, which I would love. All right, thank you so much for watching The Beauty Shaman, the nighttime skincare routine. Have a great day.